I've said it before and I say it again. Fellow loves AeroPress. We love AeroPress. Love. What's up fellow fans, fans of fellow and fans of coffee everywhere. My name is Haley. I am your local resident Q Arabica grader uh, here coming at you live from our San Francisco store in Playground, the Pink Room Studio in San Francisco store in Playground. Ready to talk to you about actually an AeroPress brew today that I have going on. First, I'm pre-warming my AeroPress. Um, AeroPress with Prismo attachment, our attachment for AeroPress that allows you to brew without any paper filters and allows you to brew uh, not inverted and allows for nothing to leak out until you actually plunge. So I'm using AeroPress with our Prismo attachment today and I'm pre-warming before I get started of course. Um, I am here to talk to you about The Barn, which is a fantastic international roaster we're featuring on Drops this week. They're from Berlin, Germany. Super fantastic roaster, super stoked to feature their Rwanda. This Rwanda is an excellent example of um, Rwanda terroir. I can't, you know I'm a Q grader and it's hard for me to pronounce that word. Some words are hard. Anyway, so this, uh, this Rwanda is delicious. I'm brewing it with AeroPress today. Uh, I'm actually going with a suggested recipe um, from the barn themselves. Uh, 16 grams of coffee in, 230 grams of water. Um, we're brewing at 202 degrees Fahrenheit. I ground at a four on Opus, but we're looking for a medium to a medium fine grind setting. Um, and I've got a couple of steps for you once we get brewing. Basically, the first thing that you're going to do is start by pouring all of your 230 grams of water in at one time. So we're not pouring a little bit in for bloom and then pouring the rest in. We're just pouring all of our 230 grams of water in right away right as we start the timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer. That is critical for AeroPress because this is gonna go pretty quickly. Um, this is gonna be an agitation heavy recipe to really, since it's, a, since it's such a quick brew, we're gonna get a lot of agitation going in order to pull a lot out of this delicious Rwanda. All right, so I'm at 231 grams, I'll take it. At 20 seconds, we're going to agitate for about five good stirs um, and then we're going to let it sit until about the one minute mark we'll agitate for five another five more good stirs before 60 seconds hits i want to talk to you a little bit about this rwanda um, it is from the western province of rwanda it's a red bourbon variety and like i said just an excellent example of rwanda terroir um, we're going to go ahead and stir again about five times again semi vigorously um, at the 60 second mark, you could agitate a little bit more as well if you're finding you're not getting um, exactly what you want out of this coffee. I would just add a little extra agitation, especially for AeroPress. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my AeroPress and Prismo setup uh, and Mighty Small Glass Graph setup from the, uh, from the scale so that when I plunge, um, and again, I'm going to plunge it around one minute and 30 seconds. When I plunge straight up and down as best I can, I'm not plunging on top of my scale because that is the quickest way to ruin your day, AKA ruin your scale, or at least throw it out of calibration. All right, and once you hear that sound, you know that you're done. You've got a delicious and with the addition of Prismo, uh, fluffier textured cup of coffee, a delicious Rwanda from the barn. Uh, Definitely want, you're definitely going to want to pick this up, y'all. It's, it's super exciting to feature international roasters with drops, and we're, we're super excited to feature the barn and this Rwanda that I can't stop saying enough good stuff about. Um, as always, it's easy to order from drops. All you have to do is follow the instructions in our text and text us back. Um, if you don't text us back, we won't send you coffee. We won't charge you. We'll just text you next week with the, with the next selection. Thank you so much for joining us here today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just want to chat with us, hit us up in the comment section because we'd love to hear from you. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this brew guide video, and I'll see you next week for the next brew guide video. Have a good rest of your week, y'all. 
Cheers.